Sometimes we can take unnecessary risks. We all do it. I do it. I'm pretty sure you are doing this too. But how do we know when we should take more risks when we are playing football? How to pick the right moments to take risks? Unlike a lot of people say, taking risks is actually a great attribute to have as a footballer. But you have to know when and where on the pitch you need to be taking these risks. If you're a center back, holding mid or even center midfielder, you have to play with as little risks as possible. But if you're a striker, winger or attacking midfielder, you're gonna have to take risks. And you're gonna have to take more risks than other players because on the pitch somebody has to take risks. Otherwise you'll never score because you're just gonna be passing the ball in between your team the whole game. This is why many teams are selected with only one or two players that likes to take a lot of risks. You can't have everybody taking risks. You can only have certain amount of players taking risks on the pitch. And you also have to have some players that plays with no risk, plays very safe. If you are one of those players who needs to take risk or who wants to learn how to take risk, you're in the right video because I'm gonna be talking specifically about what part of the pitch that you need to take risk or when during the game you need to be taking risks. Doesn't matter what position you play. If you are in your own half, you must forget about taking risks. You cannot afford to take risks. If you take risks and you lose the ball, it's all on you. You screwed it up, you gotta have to go back and you gotta have to win the ball so you can stop the counter-attack. If you lose the ball in your own half, this is extremely dangerous for the opposition to take the ball and quickly counter-attack and quickly find those opportunities to score on your net. I can simplify by saying your own half, no risk whatsoever. Your center backs, your holding mids, cannot play with risks in those areas. If you are in the two-thirds of the field where you're getting closer to the opposition's area, now you play with minimal risk to moderate risk. But if you are really close to the opposition 18, that's when you take maximum risk. It's gonna be your wingers, your attacking midfielders, or your strikers. These players can take risk in that area when you are closer to the opposition's 18. Doesn't matter where you're on the pitch. If you get help from your team, use the help. Take no risk. If you are getting your center mid coming to help you as a winger and you're near the 18, give it back to them and play as simple as possible. If you lose the ball when you have help, this is on you. But if you get no help and you're a winger and you're on the wide side of the field, really near the opposition's 18, you're gonna have to take risk because you don't have anybody else to see you don't have anybody else to pass. So when you're taking risks in those zones, if you lose the ball, this is not on you because you did not have any help. You can try to achieve to win a corner kick, you can try to achieve to win a throw-in, and you can try to wait, stall the game until you get some help. If you are not in a situation where you can dribble around the players to create yourself opportunity to shoot. This is also the same if you're central or if you're in the back line. You can always go back, play to your goalkeeper, or find somebody who's more open than you are, but if you get no help, you have no option. And this is not gonna be on you. You must have help from your teammates. If they don't come to help you, then it's on them, players that needs to be there to help you out. This is when you have to use your own judgment. Do I take risk here or do I just kick the ball or kick the ball to throw in? Reduce the chance to give the opportunity to the opposition to start that counter attack. Let's say you're a striker or attacking midfielder. Naturally, you're gonna be central. The opposition will be very tight to you and there is not really so much room for you to receive the ball and take the risks. So what do you do? You go to the zones where you have more room, which is either the width of the field or you come in deep where there is no opposition and that's when you receive the ball. If you wanna take risks as a striker or attacking midfielder, you have to find those gaps to receive the ball and turn with the ball. Otherwise, you're gonna have to play simple. You can't afford to take risks. Wherever you are on the pitch, if you lose the ball, you're gonna give the opportunity to the opposition to start a counter-attack. And you wanna avoid this at all costs. So make sure you know your zones, where you can take risks, where you have to play simple. And I can't really tell you specifically 
you can take risk here or you can take risk there you're gonna have to use your awareness and vision to create this opportunity for yourself To summarize where you can take risk or when you can take risk, if you get help, you play simple. If you don't get help, you take risks. It is as simple as that. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please drop a like, subscribe to my channel with the notifications on. You can also find my playlist right over here. Thanks for tuning in and I will see you next time.